Hey everyone, welcome back to Elden Ring, the Sorcerer playthrough. As you can see, well, there is no as you can see. I was gonna say, as you can see, I made it back to the graves, but I didn't because this is where we ended. Uh, in today's episode, we're gonna continue in Volcano Manor. I am barely on the cusp of being able to level up, and we do have the Godskin Noble coming up, and that is not a risk I'm willing to take, so I am going to... Yeah, level my shit up. Question is what to go for. Uh, <coughs> I'm gonna try getting 35 HP and then we'll go back to pumping the intelligence. I don't know what else we need. I guess mind is the the other stat. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you, I am super curious as to how this is gonna go. Like genuinely extremely curious because I didn't have too much of a hard time with this guy on my first playthrough, but then again I was pretty powerful. Again, I did all of this post Dell, so you know and someone had the newspaper on the ground He has some cool entrance. Oh, oh no, he just teleports in. Why did I think he dropped from like the statue or something? Oh no, he's gonna be easy Oh no, he's not gonna be easy So Obviously, one of the things I'm like trying to go for maybe is to bait him into using his ranged magic because his ranged attacks are way shittier than his melee attacks, believe me. His melee attacks are where it's at as you can probably see. Yeah, it's this is going as I thought, as I kind of thought it would, uh, pretty much exactly as I believed it to go. Still, obviously this is gonna take a few attempts. This guy deals an absolute fuck ton of damage, and again, the only reason I was able to kind of sail through him first time around is because I was very powerful, but. Yeah, just the amount of chase down that bosses have is absolutely ridiculous. I'm not like beyond summoning shield bros, because I feel like well, this thing deals very much in uh, sort of melee attacks, so, you know. And he has some insane delays, and this stupid attack. Theme is very good though. Can't roast the theme. Thank fuck that missed. The Glenstone Pebble is actually. Oh come on, lock on. Three hundred damage. Like again, my ideal world would be where he gets like stuck in a loop of doing his stupid um like flame attack i hate the little rubble screwing me Gonna go for phalanx oh, just the damage and this is where it gets extra dangerous because he goes dummy thick and people have still not been able to figure out and reliably inform me on how you are actually meant to avoid that attack uh, which is a little bit concerning when again I think I mentioned this in like my review or something as well it's a bit concerning when there's an attack in a souls game where the community has collectively gone, yeah, yeah, you're just kind of gonna get... Oh, fuck, wrong flask. I'm an idiot. Yeah, yeah, you're just kind of gonna get hit by that. Uh, that is not what you want in your soul's attack. That's what you want in your soul's attacks. Okay, I might just go for them. At this point, I feel like... Yep. I was going thick mode. See, there he broke his 
What the hell is he doing? You, you, you can't just do that. This thing is insane. Anyways. Oh, the range on that. Did he kill everyone? He did. That was not a... Not the sort of most successful summon. Sorry, I'm gonna get hit by some stupid. Oh, God damn it. I'm dead. Yeah, I'm dead. Oh man, the input reading. Always the input reading. All right, lesson learned. Don't don't summon against this guy. All right. How the hell did I not get Phalanx to come out? Whatever. I think I'm gonna outrange you with that. Yep. Why do I keep putting away my shield? I'm an idiot. You gotta be careful because of course the spell um, drains your HP too. I should be using this more. I mean, it deals damage. What am I doing? That is the stupidest thing I've done. Alright, we're, we're not off to a good start, people. Uh, I'll just say that much fucking lock on. Wonder how much damage my... I mean, it's dealing decent damage. He's definitely winning that war. Alright, transformation. Itch the nose. I... Stop. Stop. I, I don't know. Like, someone help. What are you actually supposed to do against that attack? Uh, the boss design. The more I'm playing this second playthrough, believe me, uh, the more all of my feelings from playthrough 1 get reinforced. Not in a positive way. I'll just say that much. Um, yeah. All of the issues I had with the boss design back in playthrough 1 are still present and very much accounted for on this playthrough as well. Okay. Did he just get stuck out of that? Oh. <laughs> I don't know. I managed to avoid it before and he's still going. Just... God. This is not the most ridiculous attack ever. This has to be the most ridiculous soul attack ever created, right? I. It's up there. He clipped me with it. <sighs> okay, let me get two of these off. Fuck. That tracks pretty well too. Faster. Sometimes they aren't even hitting him, are they? Cool. Weird that he did that so close. That's more like it. 
That's a spell you should be doing up close. Fuck <laughs> that pillar shit, it pisses me off so much. Cause like, at least with my attack it makes sense, like... The magic sword should be able to go through the pillar when you think about it. I, I, I don't know what to do against that. Is he doing it again? Oh no, he's doing the big blast. I was like, if he fat rolls again, I'm quitting this game. Tail attack. Of course he has a counter to everything. Now he's gonna do it, yep. So you gotta like dodge very late, but the issue with this thing is that you don't know when he's gonna stop, like... Is he doing it again? Fuck. See now he's stuck on the pillar, but he sometimes pulls an Ornstein where he will continue. Like you know when Ornstein gets interrupted? Just die. Fuck. That took 35 minutes of non-stop attempts. Uh, that was insane. Man, Elden Ring, I want to like you so much, but then I encounter a boss like this and all of the issues I've talked about and sort of experience or feel with this game just sort of come flooding back in. It's a weird thing, it's, it's a weird thing because so much of this game is so good, it's so good. But, I don't know man, I think they missed the mark so much with the boss design, like it's insane. Not in terms of how the bosses look, because for example like this guy, the boss, the Godskin Noble, I think he looks cool as fuck. He's, the, this game has some of the best designs in the series in terms of looks. It's weird because if I'd come here when I already had like Comet Zor and all this shit, he would have been a blast. Or, like he would have been extremely easy. Um, if I had some sleep pots, which looking at how this went, I might still need to stock up on sleep pots or sleep arrows for um, the the actual like duo version i don't know again it'll depend on comet is or oh, yeah i remember seeing this on playthrough one as well there's some some like popping glitch sometimes though you can only see it sometimes for a brief see it happened there as well it only happens for like a brief brief second anyways if you didn't know First playthrough, I was lost as hell through here. I had no idea what to do after. Because what happens is, like, as you know, there's a shortcut back to the start. Not even back to the start, back to where the abductor virgin is. And I thought that was like the jam where you're supposed to go, but it's not. You kind of just got to press on. What am I doing? Why am I fighting these guys normally when I have magic? And then from here... Come on. Get the item. Let me get the item. What the hell? Uh, are you kidding me? Why was that like the most difficult item to get in the entire game? They really didn't want me to have that summon item, did they? 
Man, this thing, this this area looks so much better than the Iron Keep. It's unbelievable because I can tell they were going for this is what they were going for with the Iron Keep. It's just Dark Souls 2 graphics didn't exactly work out in this aspect, you know. What up? You are the enemy I'm most likely to ignore out of all the enemies. Oh, hold on one second. Hold on just once. Okay, no. Fine, fine. I want to cheese. You can cheese me too. Not even mad about that, honestly. Whoa. I did not know they could do that. And it's still here. At least it friendly fired. I mean, that was straight up what the... Okay. Elden Ring, you are officially on drugs now. Uh, that was... The most insane clipping. This is a shortcut as well, right? And was there a... Little path? Did I see that correctly? Yeah, this this is the shortcut back downstairs. Yeah, exactly. Bit pointless, I think, because it's not really like not much has happened. But cool, it's here. As in, like I'm not exactly starved on resources, but hey, again, they give it, I'll take it. I swear there was a. Yes, there is. Fuck. That's why you need the shortcut. Okay, I just realized why <laughs> you need to put that there. All right. At least the elevator is going to work now. Better get my lamp up. I really do wonder what's there. Probably just an item or something. So I didn't discover like some super secret shit. What 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 am I doing? I'm so stupid. <sighs> I got too antsy. I was like, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, and I fucked up. There we go. Key item, wrong spell, whatever. That's what I was trying to go for. All right, stone sword key. Fair enough. But I feel like there's more here than meets the eye. Unless there isn't. And I do know about the lava sorceries. This area has them. Or magma sorceries or whatever they're called. Um, okay. Oh, I'm so blind. <laughs> I'm like actually so blind. Never mind. Just ignore me. Hey there. Oh yeah, we've done this dance before where this happened. Not exactly the best. Oh shit. Not exactly the best tactic, right? I don't know. Eat shit. I always forget. You can do this, you can charge spells in this game. It's like something that's worth doing too, sometimes. With a lot of spells it doesn't really do much, but with some... It can actually make a significant dis like difference. And I think if I remember correctly, this leads back to the start, doesn't it? Oh no, no it doesn't. 
<laughs> Watch this shit. Oh, come on, I was... I was trying to get a few more. Ruin my epic... What the... Okay. Ruin my epic moment. My epic gamer moment. Man, Serpent Nash. Oh, this is good. I heard that this thing is pretty funny. Uh... It uses the the chandelier weapon too, which is like way better than if he was using just that that setup. Oh yeah, you want to see some magic? Oh fuck! I really thought I could get him. I mean, your head is fucked up. Poison these guys. I think that's why people like the ashes too, that you can't really like interrupt it easily. Yeah, and that leads to a Rikard, doesn't it? I'm thinking everything leads to a Rikard. What thing about this playthrough I just realized, just looking at my MP, is I've basically not used. Ooh. It's a double one. I've basically not used... Okay, I have three. Rune arcs throughout this entire playthrough, didn't I? Which means... <laughs> I'm gonna use a rune arc right now. I don't know why. Like... We're at a point where the... Oh shit. Is this God of War 3? Isn't there a sequence exactly like this at the end of God of War 3? Of course. Where the fuck are you? Granted, it's been a while since I've played the game. But... I swear there's something... Uh, um, that didn't kill me. And that dealt a lot of damage. Okay, bruh. Bruh. Look at these things. Just let me get a carry and slicer off. Thank you. Oh, bitch! I'm not sure that it actually works in this game. Lock on, please. Cooperate. I have genuinely no idea where I am. Ash of War, Royal Knights Resolve, okay. I feel like, I just have a sneaking suspicion this is gonna lead back to the initial, like, main area. This just looks like it. It just looks like one of those, of course. Does it? So kind of everything kind of looks the same. Yes, it does. And Patches is here. I didn't know he showed up. Oh, no, he does. I think I've met him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I've done this. Or I've met him. Margit's Shackle was pretty good. Stone sword key. E. I might just hmm. I might just purchase one of these as backup. Alright. Kind of been going for a long time. To be fair, I have a lot to cut out with the noble. Uh there's a lot of popping. Are you seeing all this popping? It's really strange.
it's not just me being stoned like it's legit happening oh there's a seed bat curse here huh Mr. Doom Eater, as they say. And this lead. Oh, okay. And it's a somber smithing stone 7, what I've been missing. Alright. Well, this adventure turned out quite useful in the end. Oh, it's because I'm near an enemy. I have something aggroed on me. I was like, why can't I warp back? We are heading back to. Upgrade our weapon ASAP. That's gonna happen at the start of the next episode, I think. I'm going to wrap it up here. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring. We went on quite an adventure there. It was a fun one. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead, yeah, as I said, wrap it up here. If you did enjoy, make sure to like this video, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch you next time. Peace out and goodbye.